the covers that the uh, 78 records came in was very often uh, very often works of art in their own right really and a historical record of the time this one uh, it's got a collection of the uh, gramophones of the period and in the middle there you can see the 102, the HMV 102 which is what I'm using to, to play this this uh, record, I'm going to show you in a second the gramophone shop it says for all its name implies 52 Church Street Sheffield, that's in England uh, his master's voice greatest artist his master's voice finest recordings I don't know if there's a on the back of this one, no it's a plane on the back but these these covers are, they really are works of art in their own right and uh, you can have a lovely wall, you know, just uh, displaying these things on their own. So, anyway, that's a Columbia record, it's a comedy record. And it really sort of uh, is uh, somewhat familiar in our modern age, the uh, the, the, the t talent show, the person uh, such as uh, Britain's Got Talent, America's Got Talent, The X Factor, etc. Where people are so desperate they make fools of themselves to uh, in the hope of becoming famous, even though if it's only for five minutes. And this one is... Uh, it's called Almost a Film Actor, Part 1, Descriptive Sketch, Horace Kenny, and it's uh, assisted by Lodge Percy and Frank Elton. And it's all about a man desperate to get a part. A man desperate to be an actor. Quite right, amusing. Have a listen. Come in. Big pardon, sir. Honest Elton. There's a man outside waiting to see you, sir. I can't see anyone now. I'm busy with a film scenario. I know, sir, but he said it was very important. Very important? Yes, sir. Who is he? He didn't give his name, sir. All right, show him in. Very good, sir. This way, please. What, in here? Yes. Oh. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I believe you wish to see me about something very important. Uh, yes, sir. Are you the man who produces the film, sir? I am. Do you want anyone to play a cowboy? Do I what? Do you want anyone to play a cowboy? Sir? Oh, I don't want anyone to play a cowboy, the idea of it. Clear out. I've studied Tom Mix and Douglas Fairbanks, and I can do anything with a cow. I don't want any cowboys. Do you want anyone to jump off a bridge or a roof? I, I don't mind what height it is. Height, no object. I've studied Harold Lloyd. I do not require anything like that at all. Do you want any floors or furniture polishing? No. Clear out. Good morning, sir. Good. Yeah, one moment. What kind of parts have you played? Uh, I've played all kinds, sir. All kinds? Yes, sir, all kinds. Have you ever played Leeds? Leeds, Sheffield, Manchester, No, Brett. I mean leading parts. Yes, sir, I've played leading parts. Have you? Yes. Well, who are you? What's your name? Oh, my card, sir. The name's in the middle. I can see that. What's this? Horace Kinney, comedian and turf advisor. Yes, sir. Turf advisor? Yes, sir. In other words, you're a racing tipster as well. Well, I do a bit of that in the summertime, sir. In the summertime? Yes, sir. In the winter, I go back on the stage again and make the people laugh. After making them cry all through the summer, I suppose. No, I don't, sir. Some of them say good old Kenny, and they wish me the very best of luck. And others... I don't want to know what the others say. I can guess it. And what they wish you. Yes, they wish they'd taken my advice. Mistaken it, you mean? Yes, no. This I see here. Trainer and sole proprietor of the one and only performing eel. Yes, sir. That's my performing eel, Annie. Annie? Yes, sir. And what does Annie do? Thought reading and head balancing underwater. Thought reading and head balancing underwater? Yes, sir. I'd like to see this eel. Well, you, you can't now, sir. Why not? I had it for supper last night. I see. Annie made her farewell appearance then. Yes. I shall never see Annie anymore. You know, I don't want any of that. No. What do you say you played leading parts? Yes, sir. What I, in? I played in the face at the window. The face at the window? Yes, sir. Well, and what did you play in that? The face. Face? Yes, sir. I had to show me face at the window four times and go... Ooh, 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 Yes, sir. And every time I showed my face, somebody committed a murder. After seeing your face? Yes. I can well understand it. Now, what other leading parts have you played? Uh, a camel. Camel? Yes, sir. I played a camel in the sons of the desert. A camel? Well, I played the head and front legs of the camel, sir. Did you call that a leading part? 
Well, it was the leading part of the jam. Well, anyhow, you're certainly versatile. Aye? I say you're versatile. Well, since I signed the pledge, I haven't touched anything, sir. When did you sign it? Yesterday. What? Well, here. What salary are you asking? Well, sir, now I get... Half. Half? Half what, sir? Half what you were going to tell me. I'll take it. Well, I haven't engaged you yet. I want to know what else you've done. Exhibition boxing. Exhibition boxing? Yes, sir, exhibition boxing. You an exhibition boxer? Yes, sir. I once met Kanera. You met Kanera? Yes, sir. Where? Coming out of Waterloo Station. Right, it's almost an actor part two. Descriptive sketch by Horace Kenny. Well, I can't waste any more time with you. Tell me, and tell me quickly, what films you've appeared in and what leading parts you've played. I, I appeared in The Fall of Rome. The sir. Fall of Rome? Yes, sir. What sort of a part did you play in that? A gladiator. A gladiator? Yes, sir. A uh, Roman Gordon Islander. Roman Gordon Highlander? Yes, sir. I had a spear and I wore a skirt and I had to walk about and say what ho and, and without and all's well. All's well? Yes, sir. All, all's well with Rome. Meaning like there was nobody ill in the place. You were supposed to be guarding Rome then? Yes, that's what I was doing to it, w with it. No wonder it fell. Yes, What sir. else did you do? Well, I had to fight in a battle and capture a beautiful woman and hand her over to Caesar. Hand her over to Caesar? Yes, sir. He was sort of collecting them. Collecting them? Yes, and when I handed her to him, I had to say to him, Vosi, Vici, Vinos, Vodi, Vidae. Vici, Vini, Vici, Vinos, what, what on earth's that? Well, that's Roman for... But what the eyes don't see, the heart don't grieve. Well, that's news to me. Did you do anything else? Yes, I had to stand in front of Caesar with 6,000 men and put me spear up in the air and shout hail to him. Hail Caesar, eh? Yes, sir, hail Caesar. That's Roman for how about pushing the boat out. Well, I'm certainly learning something from you. There was 6,000 of us doing that, sir. 6,000 of you? Yes, sir. All picked men. Picked men? Yes, sir. Like you? Yes, sir. I was picked with them when they was picked. Well, then they must have been picked before they were ripe. Yes. No, they were all ripe, sir. Did all you them. ever see this film? Yes, I saw the film and I, I saw myself in it, too. You saw yourself? Yes, sir. You recognized yourself among 6,000 men, all hailing Caesar and raising spears? Yes, sir, I did. How? One of the spears went up after the others, and that was mine. Exactly. Well, I'm afraid I've got nothing to offer you. Nothing, sir? Nothing. Good morning. You, you don't want anyone to be blown up in an explosion? An explosion? Yes, sir. I was blown up in all quiet on the Western Front. I haven't got any explosions. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Come in. Excuse me, sir. What is it now, Elton? There's 40 tons of coal just arrived at the studio, and I can't spare a man to help get it in. Well, hire a man. Don't worry me about it. Hire a man, sir. Hire a man. Very good, sir. Oh, excuse me. Did you say 40 tons of coal? I did. And you are going to hire a man to help get it in? I am. I'll do it. What, you? Yes, sir. I'm a weightlifter as well. Elton, give him the job. Thank you, sir. It's a man who can do everything, <laughs> as long as he gets the job. Thanks for watching.